Greetings, our Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters. This is the, the high priest, L.D. Smith, the watchman on the wall. Family, as always, grab that King James. But first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the whole family. Happy Sabbath, Israel. Uh, that being said, family, we got a fine, fine teaching. And see, family, what we're dealing with now is we're dealing with uh, the end times. And um, the Most High is, is soon to send Elijah back. And family, we got to be ready. We got to be ready to receive Elijah because uh, we got to be on the same frequency that Elijah is on. If not, we're not going to uh, understand what he's saying. And see, family, if you look around, there are frequencies all around us. You may not be able to see them. You may not be able to hear them. But there are frequencies that are going on all the time. And, and, and see, we have to be on the same frequency here in order for you to understand what I'm saying. Now, as I stated in other videos, I want you guys to uh, read along with me. I want you guys to think about the reading. Listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth. And I know that the Most High will give you a clear understanding. Now, that being said, now we're going to be going back into the book of Ezekiel. Because we need to go back to the foundation of what the Most High started with us. That's what he's going to end with. That's why he says, I declare the end from the beginning. Why? Why? It is, it is because what I say, what I say, at the, at the end, I was saying the same thing at the beginning. I determine what's going to happen. I make it happen. Nothing happens without me making it happen. I'm in total control. I do all these things. I'm doing everything. I cause this. All right? Now, let us go to the book of Ezekiel 33. Now, we're going we're gonna to show you something here because um, I am sent to warn. As all of my uh, uh, old patriots, they always had an assignment. And the assignment was to go to God's people and warn them. Warn them is to make notice, bring to their attention that there's something that you're doing is wrong. And see, God is the orchestrator of all things. He is the creator of all things, not some things. See, when an individual read that scripture, they just read it, you know what I mean? But you have to look at the whole, the whole totality of what the scripture is saying, the whole weight of it. The creator of all things, that, that means any and everything that you can think of, that you can see, hear, and smell, even that you don't even know anything about it. He made that. See, so he is the creator of all things. So now let us, let us go here because God loves his people and he wants to show his people that he loves them. He wants to deliver them. From what they uh, 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 what they put themselves in by what not obeying what he says, but when we obey what he says, he says, "I took all sickness from among you." See that? All means all means all. Now let us go here because see, he wants us to be right, and we're gonna be right. And see, there's not gonna be anything left on me if you don't get it. If you refuse to listen, then it, the, the word says that it is going to be on you, not me. Now, let's go Ezekiel 33 here. Now, we're going to begin with verse 7 now. Look what he says. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. As I stated in other videos, I don't listen to anybody else. I don't. He told me to listen to the words at his mouth, not somebody else's mouth. I have set thee. Nobody set me anywhere. He set me here. This is all his doing. I didn't choose to do this. He said, I have set thee. I have set thee as a watchman unto the house of Israel. Go to them and warn them of me. Now, let us jump down to verse 13 and 14. Look at 13. It says, When I shall say unto the righteous that he shall surely live if he trusts in his own righteousness and commit iniquity, 
all his righteousness shall not be remembered, but for his iniquity that he has committed, he shall die for it. In one of my previous videos, the most I made a plea. Why? Why should you die? Why should you die? All you got to do is obey my word. All you got to do is turn from your righteousness to mine and live. But let us keep on going. Let's jump down, and, down to 19. Now watch what he says. He said, but if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful. Let's stop there. Lawful. Lawful. Let's break that word up. Law. F U L full. When this cup is full, can't anything else get in it? It is full. Okay, lawful. The law and fulfill the full law. Do it all. See, that's what he wants. Don't let anybody tell you, well, this doesn't apply to me. I'm telling you, please. Look at the word. Lawful. It's telling you the full law. You are being raised up with these two tablets. Don't let anyone instruct you. Otherwise, when you get grown, this and that don't apply to you. Please do not listen to that. Listen, listen to what the Most High God is saying. Lawful means... The full law. Now I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show it to you with your own eyes. You can read it and see it. He does not want partial. He wants, he wants us to do the full law. We strive to do the full law. Do See, the whole Old Testament with God and his people is about what? Obedience. It's about being obedient to what he says. Now look what he says. That which is lawful and right. See that? What does the right, right mean? Statutes and judgments. Huh? The law is there by itself. Then he gave us other, other, other things that we should morally do. As a, as a unit, as a family, you know how a person can 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 do another wrong, and he said, "Well, why don't you do right by me? You know, and uh, 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 give me what you owe me. Do right, do that which is right." He shall live thereby. See that. He shall live. See, let, let me show you something. Else. See, it's all about obeying the law. That's what it's about. This whole book here is about, I'm talking about the Old Testament. I'm not talking about the New one. That's not our book. The Old Testament is our book. It's all about obeying God, obeying his voice. Now, I'm going to show you something. And I, now, oh, now, when I show you this, I want you to think about it. Think, I mean, all I'm asking you to do, just take a, a moment and just think about what I'm saying. And see, will it resonate here? Not here. I, I want this to be here in your heart up here. I, I ain't worried about this right here. That is the least thing that I'm worried about. I'm worried about what's going to be in your heart up here. Now, let us go to Genesis. Now, watch this right there. Now, I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Now, we're talking about what? We're talking about the law. We're talking about what he has commanded, what he has said, right? Now, watch this right here now. Let's go to Genesis chapter 2. Are you ready? Let's read verses 15, 16, and 17. Now watch this. And the Lord God took man 
and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded, stop the very first law. See that? The very first law. It starts out that way. All I'm asking you to do is, 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 is listen to what is being said and think about it. The very first law, the very first commandment. Now, it says that I change not. Numbers, he says, I'm not a man that I shall lie. If I have not said it, when I make it good, I might not be uh, quoting it exactly right. But go over there and read Numbers. And you'll see, God is not a man. He's not fickle that, well, you know, he says this and he says that. No. He says, I am the same. Starting out the gate, I'm going to be the same at the end. I'm not going to change. So you can see here that here is the first commandment in law. It's right in the pages. Now look what he says here. He says, saying, of every tree of the garden, thou mightest eat freely. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil Thou shalt not. See that? Thou shalt not eat of it. First commandment. First law. It's right in the pages. Why? Why does God give laws to his, uh, his creation? He gives law to, to, to guide you to uh, 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 restrain you, to, to uh, 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 keep you in, in line, to protect you. The law is to protect you from everything else. That's why he says that, that he is a shield and a buckler to those that trust in him. We have to trust God's word. Obey God's word. Now, now, now let's keep on. Now, I, I want you to see this. 17. But the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. See that? You can see he's using the same words that he used in Genesis over here in Ezekiel. He, he's telling you, if, if you turn from his word, his commandments, you're going to die. Y'all you can, can't see that? It's plain as day. He says, when you turn from, from what I say, you're going to die. You're going to die. He does not change. Why can't y'all see that? Why can't you see that God says the same thing over and over when it comes to we his people? He doesn't, he doesn't change. That's why the alarm is sounding now that we have to turn back to those two tablets. So we're going to close there, all right? All praise, all praise. Now, family, now you guys know how we do it here at the end. At the end. We always come together with one voice and one mind. All praise, all praise. All right, on the count of three, you ready? One, two, three. One word, one God, one people, one love, Levi. All praise, all praise. Now remember, family, try to get some rest, enjoy your Sabbath. But remember, ponder the word. Think about the word, okay? Listen to, listen to it over and over. But remember, the law is given for what? To give you life. 
it is a buffer that is around you to keep you from 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 getting into other other things it is a shield all right it is protection all praise happy sabbath family we love you